Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So this is just going to be a short video unless I start babbling on and then it might be 20 minutes long. You never know. So this is about the um, Muse November 2022 kit. Um, just for a thought of the art supplies and I'll show you my prompts that I've done. Um, so it was coffee art. We got this coffee and I put it in a, a jar I'll probably have to chuck that out because um, I think coffee goes off doesn't it but this is sealed anyway and then I just dipped my paintbrush in and went wild so I've used the Faber-Castell Faber pencils and I really enjoyed using these they were really nice so they're one of my favourites um, the aqua ink, yes, I quite liked using that. Um, I've got some eco line similar to that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the speedball ink. Yeah, I thought that was nice. Um, but does it say on the instructions? I was going to read them. If I was you, before I use this, shake it, because I didn't, and then when I applied it to the paint, it was like translucent. So I just shook it and it was more thicker. So yes, I quite enjoyed using that. Um, the paint brushes. My others are drying out on my stand. Um, I mean, they're alright for paint brushes, but can you see this one? When they dry... They don't go back into the shape what they were. That's a bit bent, as you can see. But I mean, it's fine. They serve the purpose. One of them, was it the smaller one? It took me ages to get the ink out the bristles. But I suppose that's just usual with paint brushes. Um, these pens, yes, I liked using them. They're just like my microns. But the lids are really tough. Oh, look, it's made me into a liar. Maybe you've got to use them a few times. They were really tough to get off. Now they're fine. <laughs> um, I haven't used the paper. Um, because I prefer to work on A4 or larger. So I'll save this for something else. Um, yeah, the magazine was a good read. I still haven't done this, or I was gonna do the um, the tutorial, well, the skills challenge. Still want to try that out. Um, there were the prompts fox, dusk, splash, and spirit, and I've managed to do them all. Uh, I haven't tried this one out either. Yes, and it was a really good read, and I really enjoyed this box. Unfortunately, it is my last box, but what a box. So, let's, enough babbling, I'll show you my stuff that I've been doing. So, this prompt is Splash. Um, this was my um, tester paper. I was just te testing the supplies out, um, and I just splashed it all over, as you can see. So that one, that's a uh, suit the prompt splash. So I just put some leaves on. It looks like a stem, and I thought I'd put a mushroom here, and then I think that looks like a cute, like a black cloud alien creature. Um, and then I just put some tails and fins on these. Look like fish on the bed there. That look like a black bed. That splatter. Um. And this reminded me of a flower, the, is that the stamen part? Like an alien flower, so I just put some alien petals on. And then that's a little dragon sitting on a leaf. And all these were, um, I was just um, testing out the paint brushes. And I was making like, it's like a petal shape, isn't it? So I just turned them into like little rockets. So I suppose you could say... That's an alien planet and it's exploding, splashing, it's doing something and there's all the little aliens escaping in the rocket ships. So I really enjoyed messing around with that. 
Um, what's next? Um, the other prompt was Fox. Um, I was going to turn this into it because it looked like um, a hornet. But like an alien hornet. And I put the uh, Faber-Castell watercolour pencil on. And I didn't dilute it with water because I thought the texture was just so nice. I didn't want to ruin it with the water. And then I just drew some of these little mystical foxes. And I didn't want to colour them in either because that would ruin the splatters. Um, so, fox amongst the aliens. Let's can't say a lot more about that. Um, and the other one, the other prompt was spirit. So, this is a spirit koi. I didn't realise a koi was a spirit animal. It's supposed to uh, signify fortune and wealth and you're going to succeed. I didn't do it for that purpose. I just done it because I like sketching and painting koi. Now, as you can see, I have overworked it. <laughs> It went a bit wrong and then I tried to correct it and it went sort of pear-shaped but I still like it. I will just keep trying and I wanted desperately to add a bit of green so I just put these boring little leaves there. Yes, yeah, so that's spirit and this last one is um, dusk. I really enjoyed doing this um, and I'm really proud of this because I didn't think I'd be able to do anything like this. So I'd, I'd done this um, sketch for the rhinoceros for another prompt. It was that scratch board thing. And I thought I'd just do a silhouette of a rhino and the silhouette of the tree and then mix the... What did I do first? I drew this and then I painted the silhouette black speedball ink and the tray and then I wet the well, I waited till it had dried I uh, wet the full surface and then painted it with coffee as you can see a little bit up here and then when that was dry I wet the paper again and went over it with the um, aqua ink the yellow started from the bottom and worked my way up so that's why it's lighter at the top and then while the paper was still wet I started at the bottom again with the vermilion red ink and then worked my way upwards so there's like it's red pale red orange and yellow yes so that was quite fun so I'll be doing that again in the future oh look I've been blabbering on for eight minutes so I really enjoyed the box and I love just splattering ink and coffee and painting with ink. So, yes, that's my new favourite art supply. So, thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you bye.